Hi guys, Everything Tech Pro here. Just about a week or so, Apple launched its iOS 9.3.3 Public Beta 4. And now today we have got the Public Beta 5. You know, the size of the update is not much big, it's just about 23.6 megabytes. But you know why Apple is, you know, launching so many betas for just a small update. But anyway, after updating, you know, I couldn't find any of the new features or any of the glitches being fixed. So, rather, I would say that, you know, Apple is doing this because the iPad 3, iPad 2, iPod 1st generation, 2nd generation, and iPad mini 1, all these devices won't be supported in the iOS 10. Therefore, the iOS 9.3.3 is the final update for these devices. And Apple wants to make sure that this update is very much stable and people don't face any problems in their update because, furthermore, these devices won't be re receiving any updates, so Apple wants to make sure that these devices run properly without any glitches and all, but the basic glitches which we saw are not being patched in this beta also. So not, not much of a news for that, but let's see how my phone is performing after this update. So enlarging it, yeah. So before I update it, I could say that uh, my, uh, yeah, the uh, Antutu benchmark gave me a score of 47,013 and which included the 3D score of 12,903 and uh, the UX score of 13,103 and the CPU performance CPU multi-core 4572 common score 4294 mathematics score 5424 so and the uh, this, these are the final results RAM about 6717 and the HTML5 test gave me a score of 14,083 in my iPhone 5s. But you know, here you could see that my device, iPhone 5s, is you know uh, much better in HTML score than HTC One A M8 and Z Ultra Z, MI4W, L39H, One, MI3C, Vivo X Play 3s. So these devices are currently rated, rated below the iPhone 5s. So that's a good news for the iPhone 5 users. At least your device ranks higher than these devices, which you know uh, are quite a good devices in the Android market right now. Then these are the uh, in-depth analysis of the HTML scores: JavaScript 6, 6433, Layout 304, SVGs 851, Periodic 1166, Tree 1416, Birds 175, Invaders 2102, Collision 16. 36. So these were the scores Antutu gave me after I ran the HTML5 benchmark test on the iPhone 5s before updating. So before updating, I had about two gigs of, of memory left, and after update, and I just installed the update, and after I installed the update, I got 2.2 gigabytes. That's good. You know, with every beta, in my previous beta also, I got about 200 megabytes of data. And here also, after I updated, I got about 200 megabytes of data. So Apple, you know, is constantly, you know, making sure that all the waste cache is cleared once you update your device to the next version of the beta. So that's quite good. But one thing we know that when we're going to update to iOS 10, we're going to have a more, more uh, space for us to fill up. Like, the capacity of your device will be increased for sure. We saw in many uh, cases, people updating and got about a gig or one gigabyte of data extra for usage that's quite good then after updating I got a mammoth score of 62,131 and let's go back and see what we had if people forget that I had 47,013 and I got here after updating 62,131 you know I don't know whether this is correct but if it is correct it's a mammoth bounce and the performance has definitely increased now one thing I would like to point out is that when I ran the benchmark that time, you notice my battery percentage is just 11%. But when I ran the benchmark after the update, my battery was 100%. So this might be another reason why I got a mammoth score. Otherwise, you know, I don't see uh, any uh, anything which has been changed by Apple during this update. So and the second reason for this is a surprise. I'll tell you at the end of the video. So and the 3D score is 12,963. And the UX score is again 20,324, and the multi-core multi-score uh, multi score jumped to 6652, 
common score just jumped to 66 66 and the mathematics score high jump 89 40 so and this is the final you know a score which my phone got 62 131 it's a mammoth jump from 48,000 to 62,000 that's quite a bit then I ran the HTML5 and to do HTML5 test and you know not much of a jump but it was good but 14,321 let's go back and see for those who don't remember what I had 14,083 so 14,083 and now here 14,321 so about 300 jump but that's not more but still my device is performing well and one of the other reasons for this the same I told at that time battery was less and now I had no battery so that could be one of the reasons which gave me this score but and second reason don't forget I'm gonna be telling you at the end of the video so these are the in-depth analysis of the HTML score JavaScript 6742 layout 311 SVG 847 periodic 1208 3 1407 birds 170 invaders 2095 collision 1541 so this is you know uh, as far as the update is concerned complete benchmark but you know I didn't see anything new in this just the same device nothing much but okay before I finish the video I told you I'm gonna tell you another reason why the scores are better and this shows that my device is faster many people and, and including most of the, uh, the of the famous developers claim that in the iOS 9.3.3 public beta 5 Apple left most of the root access unencrypted so you know that makes a lot of sense for jailbreaks so because there was a conference held in which they discussed these things and now iOS 10 and the iOS 9.3.3 public beta 5 are not that encrypted I could say that so this creates a lot of opportunity for jailbreaks and with the device speed I could say that the device is you know working almost as same as before updating so not much of a change but I could see a bit smoothness in my device with the score increase also so that was the hidden secret but the question is that will we see a jailbreak for the iOS 9.3.3 only because if that happens many people will be happy because their iPad now iPad 3.2 which is stuck in iOS 9.3.2 will be able to receive a jailbreak and people will be really happy with that so regarding that I don't have any updates whether the a jailbreak is coming or not but once it comes I'll let you know so that's it guys for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share and subscribe this channel to see more such video so when some other update comes up I'll let you know so until that time it's peace out